Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to part 21 of season 2 of our Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snooker 19 and part 90 of the Snooker 19 career as a whole. And to the, you guys who are watching this video in the near vicinity, a very, very, very happy new year. This coincides really well actually because of course the Daffabet Masters is the first tournament of the new year. Okay, technically in game, this is 2021, but it is a new year. The Daffabet Masters in real life will be starting in a few weeks. And today we start our Masters adventure with a second match against the Maverick, Stephen Maguire, within three episodes. Now, before we start, I want to say a massive thank you for the support on Monday's episode. I hope it's not because of Ronnie O'Sullivan and the fact we did play the Rocket. But the views absolutely soared, and really nice to see some good support for the series. Um, so for this video of twenty, tw they haven't get my words out. For the first video of twenty twenty, if we can get to ten likes, that would be absolutely amazing. You might not think it means a lot, but it does mean a hell of a lot to the channel. But we are planning the Daffabet Masters, an invitational tournament, and. For long-term viewers of this series, you will know that uh, this year has been a little bit of a rocky one. We did return to form, I would say, in the Scottish Open. We got to the quarter-final, but unfortunately, we were just outplayed, really, by Ronnie losing 3-1. But before that, we played very solidly. Um, but in, in tournaments before that, really, from the English Open all the way through to the UKs, we were a bit of a write-off, to be quite honest. We got to the final of the Shanghai Masters. Um, so if we can continue that form into this tournament, that would be absolutely fantastic. We did get to the final of the Shanghai Masters last year, uh, sorry, not the Shanghai Masters, we did get to the final of the Daffabet Masters last year, playing against Mark Allen, unfortunately we lost in a decider, six frames to five, but we did beat John Higgins, Mark Selby and Stuart Bingham to get there, and uh, it seems the first player we've got to beat to get to that milestone again and get to the quarterfinals before anything else, is Stephen Maguire, we've beaten him both times we've played him in this career mode, obviously won very recently in the Scottish Open, but this is another tournament, it's an invitational tournament, great for prize money, um, but it is another tournament to try and recuperate, uh, try and get back to our best form. We do seem to play quite well actually uh, in these tournaments I find, and uh, let's see if that form continues into today's game against Stephen Maguire. It is Stephen Maguire to break first here and let's see what he does. Now, obviously, this isn't um, a long tournament in terms of the matches. I haven't put the matches on long. Uh, they've only been on long for the Shanghai Masters, but they weren't on long in this tournament last year. Uh, but after this match, the frames will increase um, to it is seven after this match, and then uh, 11 for the final, if we got there, of course, which I think is uh, pretty good. Medium-length tournament, and it, it increased creases in length quite nicely, so it builds that anticipation quite nicely. That wasn't the best safety shot. I was hoping either to move the red a little bit, a little bit more, and, and equally, I'd have rather got the cue ball a little bit further up the table. Really, so it just gives really Stephen Maguire a little bit of an early chance, although, apart from this red, it doesn't open up anything else. So not too much of a dangerous safety shot in the end. And even though it's a new year, old habits die hard, don't they? The dog's still barking down the garden, and that is a bad miss for Maguire. It was a shot to nothing, really, because he wouldn't have opened up anything else. But funnily enough, because of the angle he's left it at, he has basically just left um, a straight one, pot, really, on this red. Chance. And that's a nice pot. Really nice opening red. Although, really, we should have played that a little bit harder, just to try and get a little bit better on the blue, because however we play this, really, um, we are going to struggle to open up the red. So I think we'll play the blue, um, get back with the bulk, uh, and play just a safety shot next. Take the... Blue and the red, uh, and just try and play a decent safety. But that was a uh, an interesting risk for Maguire to have took, and it didn't pay off for him. But equally, he's not given too much away, so he shouldn't be worried too much about that. Red's nice and compact, the 14 that are rema uh, remaining on the table. But uh, yeah, I, I really hope 2020 is a good year. I really do. In, on all accounts. I hope you guys have a great one as well. I can't believe that uh, it is 2020. It just seems surreal, doesn't it? But uh, hopefully our snooker is a little bit better in 2020. I don't see there being a uh, snooker 20 bought out this year. But let's be honest. What, why, why would they need to? There's no need to bring out a snooker 20. Snooker 19 is good enough as it is. Now that's a nice shot. Not quite a snooker. But uh, it does block off most of the reds because of the position of the pink. That's equally a very good safety shot. Impressive stuff. He'll be pleased with that. Just try and get this off two cushions and bring it back to bulk. 
It's a little bit hard, so I worry a little bit about this, but not the end of the world, I suppose. Hits the yellow, and that ooh, could be a godsend, but I don't think it is going to be. I think that red that Maguire pushed out earlier is going to be open here. It is. Can he get his first pot of the match? This looks a lot more composed, so I think he's got a bigger chance, but that isn't on target. Stephen Maguire... Well, well, well. He's had uh, two, I wouldn't say massive opportunities, but two opportunities that arguably a player of his calibre should be potting. And the black will go. So, if we can pot this red, I mean, it should be a mere formality, but sometimes it's easier said than done. It should open up a black and potentially well, a little bit of a break. Did lose the cue ball. I'd prefer to be a little bit straighter on the black, to be quite honest. But what we'll do, we'll just try and open up these two reds. See what happens here. Mm, it's not the worst shot in the world, but it is going to be a little bit awkward to get any sort of pot from this. He's taking this red on. Uh, is it worth a go? Or should we just play a safety? I think it's worth a go. I do, personally. Worth a punt. No, it's nowhere near, was it? Mm, that was a little bit silly in hindsight. One. But again, you have to say position's not great, but I suppose if we can pot the black and get into the reds, this could be quite nice. But he's missed the black, dearie me. Well, Stephen Maguire really needs to get into this because you could argue, again, as I've said, not three massive opportunities, but three fairly decent opportunities for Maguire. And uh, he's not taken any of them. All I will say, though, is, is if, if, it's not, if it's an out-of-form Stephen yeah. Maguire, it uh, helps our cause a little bit. Want to face the best, though, don't you? All the time. Particularly in a tournament as rich as the Masters. It'd be great to go and win a tournament like this. That would really boost our confidence. Because you have to be fair. In this career mode, we haven't done anything substantial yet. Yes, we've won the Scottish Open, got to a few finals. Uh, but ultimately, we haven't succeeded as much as I'd have liked to. Just yet. This needs to be played at the right pace. It's quite right, Neil. Does open up the red. Played it well. Thank you very much. Steve Maguire, though, getting off to a poor start, has to be said. It's a little bit of a shock. Particularly given the chances he's had. I mean, missing that first red was the only shot that you could have gone, hmm, okay, fair enough, but... Uh, Personally, I think that that's, uh, well, the other shot was a howler on the, no, I wouldn't say so much the black, but on the, I think it's the other red, wasn't it? That was just a terrible shot. Well, nice Going to play up for the blue, though. It's easy to control the cue ball, and hopefully uh, we should be able to line it up to the red, to the right of the pink, and potentially get a little bit of a better position on the black. Or, I suppose, just try and open up these reds. It's a good opportunity just to stun through and play with a bit of topspin. To to Got to get the pot right, though. That usually helps. And that is pretty tasty. I'll take that. Not the best position, but that pink, if it keeps rolling, would be quite a nice uh, little tap-in. It's not the easiest pot. I mean, never is, is it? But uh, it does give us a decent chance here. And these reds near to the cushion, even though we're going to be in the bulk area of the table, should be possible. Well played with the so that was a little bit of luck, in my opinion, there, for that uh, pink to land there. Play a bit of screw back. Hopefully this works out. It's always a little bit awkward trying to play this, particularly at speed, into the corner pocket. But it's there. Didn't play with as much backspin as I'd like to, because sometimes you just don't want to take the risk. Um, and equally here, I think we're just going to play the green. If we can. Without it being too awkward. So, this pot into the right corner. Just adjust that a little bit. I wasn't quite comfortable with that, and if I'd have gone and missed it, well, you know, never heard the end of it. Pardon me. Decent start, though, here. A little bit of a scrappy one. Not as clean as a whistle, but... Pardon me again. We're, uh, we're getting the pots, dearie me. I've only been on water this morning. Didn't drink last night. <laughs> I'm dying. He seems full of confidence at the moment. But now, clean start here. Ideal start, certainly get a frame on the board. Play with a little bit of top and side, but it's, uh, it doesn't really line itself up that well, does it? So That sort of shot's probably the best thing to play here, I would say. 
Just gives the Reds a little tap. There should be an opening. Sometimes you just have to make your own luck in this game. Although, it does make the black a little bit awkward, so we might just have to screw back and put our hopes on the pink just at the moment. But we're playing well here. Our potting game, as it usually is, is pretty good. It's just our position that tends to let us down. Let's have a look from this end. Because the screw back's a little bit of an awkward one for me. It's getting to a similar position to what we are now. Okay. That looks good to me. For the middle pocket. Got to get the pot right though, of course, or else this does open up quite a nice opportunity for Maguire. That looks pretty planted. Uh, and it's there. Great technique. Superb queuing. Lovely. 44. Probably just try and tap this red. Because it is in a little bit of an awkward position. But actually, I think we might just play the positional shot. We don't want to take too many risks. Because Maguire can still fight back. He's still the first frame, so I don't want to make... As I say, I don't want to take too many risks here. But a decent break to get us started. Only the pink needed. And that should be the first frame. Barring any snookers or silly shots. Just get this red and pink over the line, just to make sure we can do it, and then we can play something a little bit more experimental with a bit more risk. But that's not the best position on the pink, so... Uh, might be blue this time. Apologies about the dog as usual. <laughs> right, see if that red goes. Yes, either red will go, so that's okay. Suits me. The long pot's on, and he's going for it. Fine, it's always best to play yellow side of that pocket. You've obviously got a lot less risk playing that side. But again, a little bit over screwed there. Makes our job a little bit harder. But because we've got the security that the frame is pretty much over, if we miss this, it's not really too important, but it's still good pot in practice and it's there. Good pot. Moves that red to a little bit of an awkward position. But we're certainly on the colour. Um, ooh, which does make things a little bit awkward, doesn't it? Whichever way you look at things. Try and bring this all round. Ooh, that's a... That, uh, could be a bit of a godsend, but not quite got the power on it. I think it might have gone potentially down to Open up the red by the black, potentially. Um, but because it's hit that middle jaw, we've only really got one choice here. Awkward shot this is. We seem to be able to pot anything though, don't we, at the moment? Goodness me. Oh, we might as well keep going here. Again, I think a nice, solid first break gives any player a bit of confidence. Won't be able to do this all in one visit, of course, because we did have two separate breaks. But nevertheless, this will be a nice break to start off with. 72. And uh, we could be on for an early century here, which would really give us a bit of confidence. Obviously, 78 with the pink. And if we pot all the colours, that means we do get a 105 break. So let's try it. As I said, it'd be a really good confidence boost for the start of this tournament. Am I right? Yes, 105, of course. There's 27 remaining. Does mean we do have to get the uh, black on, uh, the black as well. We have to get all the colours. Pink won't be enough. That's a little bit more awkward than I've liked. Again, we've not quite played that at the right pace, but uh, as long as we pop the blue, position's okay. The blue? What am I on about? The green? Did I say the green? The blue? No, I think I said to say the, the blue. I meant the green. <laughs> I have a little bit of top here. Because the blue's in the middle of the table, it does open up quite a few options, but this could be about as awkward as it could be. Ooh. Okay. Try and get it into the middle pocket. I think that should be okay. Awkward, though. No, it's nowhere near. That's a shame. And uh, we've very nearly potted the cue ball. But nevertheless, it's not quite a century. But still, a good break. Uh, not quite 105. 84 in the end, that must have been, I think. 84? No. 18 remaining, wouldn't they? So, 87, that would have been. Break of 87, though. That's uh, our high break for a little while. So, good start to the match. And, uh, obviously, because of that, we are one frame up. One frame to the good. 
which should give us a little bit of confidence coming into this second frame. Now, uh, nothing open for Maguire there, so a good break from us. Equally nothing open for us either, so good reply. It's that sort of safety battle with this sort of temperament and uh, situation that there's going to be an opportunity open fairly quickly. They like that shot there, all five of the people that are there. That's the only criticism I would have. I think that the crowd atmosphere isn't as good as on previous games. Not quite open for a pot just yet, is it? Mm. Right, let's put this off two cushions. This is a tricky safety. Go on, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Mm, just a little bit. Not quite there. Does open up the opportunity on the red. I did say that an opportunity be opened up. If we got the... If we got the bulk... Bloody hell. Wow, Maguire. If we had got the comfort of the bulk cushion, we'd be alright. But uh, that is unbelievable. We are going to go for a plant here. Two for the price of one. Even I can pull off that plank. I mean, come on. Similar shot to what Maguire played, but... Oh, we can't pull it off either. Well. Thank goodness it's only the one red that uh, went astray, because that could have been pretty damaging. But neither player could play that black shot coming off the, the top cushion. Ooh. Okay. But luckily, as I've just said, Maguire doesn't get too much of a chance, but... I don't think our two-point lead will last very long. Can he drop this into the right corner? I think there's more atmosphere from the bloody dog down the garden than in this bloody... <laughs> in this arena. It's the Ali Pali, isn't it? Is it the, the Ali Pali? Sure it is, yeah. Really well I'm going to look at that because I don't look an absolute burk when I get that wrong. Let's get the iPad out, shall we? While we watch Stephen Maguire go and uh, try it on. That was a... Uh, Bizarre shot. Um, right. Okay. Yeah, that was a bit weird. Bear with me. Just want to have a look at where you'll be saying, Yes, of course, it's at the bloody Ali Pali. Or, oh, you burk. What are you on about? Right. Daffabet Masters location. The Alexandra Palace, London. Whew. That's a bit of uh, awkwardness out. So if I got that wrong, I think you guys would would have uh, that that ten likes that uh, of course you guys can still leave on the video, the ten likes would would have evaporated straight away. But that was a bizarre shot from Maguire, and it has to be said that uh, he isn't quite in this just yet. That's a bit annoying. There's no blue because uh, that would have been fairly nice for position, but I think we'll just consolidate here. Um, pot the black. Try so. I'm just going to try something here. Pot the black, and then if worse comes to worse, we can go for a safety. But that red that's just hanging out there, um, I don't. We're not going to be able to get a pot on it. This one, but uh, it did seem quite a nice one to be able to play a safety on. That's it. Nice. Although the cue ball is in a little bit of a worrying trajectory, but not played anywhere near hard enough to. Find John Virgo screaming at the TV. Where's the cue ball going? But a very much cagey affair here. And Stephen Maguire. I mean, I'm glad I showed you that the AI are on hard. Um, because Stephen Maguire is just not in this at all at the moment. He's not looking good here. Doesn't want to overhit this. And if we keep playing as we're playing, the game could be over very quickly. Nicely onto the play. One. As I said, it would be a shame if uh, Maguire didn't play to his full potential. Hmm, it is going to be tight here, whatever we do. So I just played the red for the middle pocket or something. Get the black though first, that's the most important thing. In hindsight, that seems a little bit silly, doesn't it? But I suppose that pot to the top of the table, to the bulk cushion, doesn't look... It looks fairly inviting to me, and these are a lot easier in game than in real life. And to be fair, it is pretty straight and doesn't leave too much on, even if we miss. So not necessarily a shot to nothing, but certainly a shot to something if it goes in and does. 
great cubal control. Excellent position. Nine. This should be straightforward. Try and follow through. Mm, not great there. Not the ideal result, but it could have been worse. Could have been definitely worse, yeah. Hmm. I guess we can try and play this up the table. I know it's a very ambitious move, and sometimes I don't. I don't ever go. Oh, let's play a safety. But actually, I think that that's probably the best shot if we play off the off the red. Hopefully, it's not too hard. But that is sitting pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty. Neil Robertson. Pretty nicely, that's sitting there. No position on that red, so get away with that. But you have to say again, that's not the best shot for Maguire. And we are going to flirt with this because it just goes up to bulk if we miss the red and doesn't leave anything on apart from, of course, the one that we could potentially miss here. But that was a very nice pot. Wonderful shot. Cracking stuff. Again, not the cleanest of breaks here. We're not chucking reds in, but... Again, sometimes you've just got to play. Uh, well, it goes half a chance. Play for each ball sometimes. Not necessarily a big break. But that green was nice. Ooh, I wonder if there's a space. Would is there a bit of room? Is there a bit of room? Ooh, there is, but uh, certainly not at a potting angle. Could be a plant in there or something potentially, but uh, I'm not the kind of player to like to risk that. So, just a safety shot. Where's that cue ball going, though? Where's the cue ball? It's okay. In fact, that's the, if that would have been a little bit harder, we've got it just behind the yellow. But it has to be said, we are controlling this match completely so far. Stephen Maguire has not done anything to say that he's going to uh, challenge at all here. And that shot just proves it. I mean, that safety was... Well, is abysmal the wrong word? I don't think it's uh, well, too far it off what uh, anyone would describe that shot as. Position looked very good here. He's played that very well. One. Seeing if that red does go if we were to screw back off the black. Oh, that was the the dreaded kiss that we got there. But luckily, we've got this little red here. Hello. Shame that the blue's not in play because that would have been a very nice opportunity. But uh, we'll screw back, see if we can get something on the black. But if not, we have got the, the bulk which we can refer to. Give this a sniff. It's there. Unfortunately, it doesn't open anything too much up. But, uh, does it open that red up? It's not going to hit the pink, is it? No. That could be just a great opportunity that I just hadn't realised. And of course with that red out of the way, it does open up the pink. So let's see if this red does go. It certainly does. And that's a little bit of a slice of luck. Black of course doesn't go because the red's there. But because we've got a straight pink on here, I don't think anybody can complain. He's lining this one up to the middle pocket. Move these reds. Open that's a nice kiss on the reds. So I'd take that. Really good. And we're well on our way to making this 2-0. Might be more twists and turns to come, though. Complacency is our big issue sometimes. Let's keep playing like we've been playing, eh? This pot for snookers required. And there you go. What a top pot that that should finish things off. That should be it. As I've said before, no, don't want to run before we can walk. Play a little bit of a follow through on this. This should be good for the black. It's all very much at close quarters here because uh, it is tight with these reds. Makes it imperative that you play it just at the right pace. A little bit hard there, but we get away with that. But we're playing some good snookers so far here. Long may that continue. Not the best position on the red, but we'll certainly give it a go. 
Don't know, so you try. Ooh, looks a little bit off, but no, it's uh, been quite nice to us there. We get away with that. We're going to go for the green here. Again, never hurts to try and get our uh, cleaning up uh, it's half a chance, act but chance nonetheless. sorted. Never hurts. What a wonderful pop. And the way those balls were reacted, that's uh, admittedly not what I dreamt of, but something similar to that would uh, not be something I'd complain about at all. Apologies for the interruption there, folks, because I think the no mobiles in the arena should apply to us as well, shouldn't it, eh? But uh, just taking a phone call there, and hopefully the interruption shouldn't have taken our mojo too much. There. Just going to try and play this yellow and... Uh, Play have enough power just to bypass the green and hopefully get a decent position on it. That is, that's pretty good, I'll take that. Obviously not crucial to the winning the frame. Blimey, I've only walked up the stairs and I had a puff. <laughs> but uh, not going to be crucial to the frame. That is all done. But as I've just said, our uh, cleaning up abilities could be improved. So this is only going to help those. And uh, if, it, if it is a crucial frame in any match, a final or a semi-final or any match... That requires us to clear everything up. Then uh, this sort of experience, when the when the pressure's not on, when it doesn't really matter, and we'll and will only irritate uh, Stephen Maguire. It's a perfect opportunity to uh, have a go. 64. Blows dispatch. It's going to be a tricky one on the pink, but uh, certainly give it a go. Again, no pressure involved. This is tough. That's a nice pot. And it's not too badly set up for the black, considering the difficulty of the pink. Seven. But two good breaks so far. This will make it a 77. And that looks pretty planted to me. It is. And uh, we are heading for a whitewash against Maguire at the moment. But of course, he could come back. It's still early days. But a good start to the Daffabet Masters for us at the moment. Well... That's a two-frame lead now, and he's really starting to turn the screw on... In real life, it should be really top eight against bot mate, and because we've moved out, moved outside the top eight, it would make things quite interesting if that was true to the game, but it's just a random draw on the game at the top 16, which is a little bit of a shame. It would be really nice just to see uh, top eight against bot mate, because the likes of Lazowski are now in that top eight. Uh, so that, that would be interesting to see, definitely. How far a player like that would go. Because I think we all know that Jack Lazowski is a player that has certainly got the ability and the potential. But just never seems to really live up to it. Um, and I don't remember him winning anything in game to be honest. But uh, he's not got any chance of potting anything here. So that was a good safety from us. But uh, not so much so from Maguire again. He's playing... Uh, I mean, he's just letting us in here, whether he's bereft of confidence well, or what. But, uh, as he it to. As I mean, that was, again, not a poor, and I hate to keep criticising Maguire, but we are really being uh, easily let in here. That needs to just push the blue so we can open something else up. But I think, unfortunately, it does make things a little bit awkward. It does. Ooh, that's a pain. Maybe we can get for the blue, I suppose. It's never the easiest when you're in close quarters with the with the cue ball, but uh, I guess we give it a go, can't we? Just wants to sink this into the left corner pocket. There we go. Nice pot. See, if you don't try, you never know. But uh, it didn't set up the best ball, admittedly, there. So we're just going to play a safety on this. Hopefully get back up the table. That's right back into the into the pack. And I'll definitely take that. Neil Robertson. Not that we've really faced any threats so far from Maguire, but I have to say we've been quite nicely composed. Whereas Maguire has been, uh, you know, not great. And does open up a half chance here, to be fair, if we want to flirt and take it on. I think this one's probably the best one for us to take on, rather than the one along the cushion. It is a, it is a risky one, no doubt, but uh, it's a risk I think I'm going to take here. That's a cracking pot. Great stuff. Wait for all the balls to stop before we judge how good that is. Fortunately, black won't go here, but I think the pink might just uh, go to the top pocket. It does, so uh, this would be a very nice one just to start potentially that third break to go and win this match by three frames to nil. We can't get ahead of ourselves. Not just yet. And the cue ball has finished very nicely. 
seven. Just try and line this up for if we can get to the pink on this side. We should look at that first before we start lining it up for it. I don't think we uh, can we? I don't think we can get to the pink on this side. No, we can't. So uh, blue is the the order of the day then. No fear about missing the pot. Shouldn't be in the Masters if you can't pot something like that. Positions are much finer art though, and uh, as to be said, I don't think we perfected it by any way, shape, or form just there. Well, I'm not surprised he's taking on the long pot here. Ooh, that's quite a way out. No, mm. not this time. Just give Maguire a chance here. Again, could have possibly played safety. Neil That's Robinson. not the best thing to do, but sometimes at 2 0 up, you know, one frame away, you, you don't mind taking those sorts of risky chances, but again, you can't take too many of them because a player that might not be in form in this frame might, just might be the kick up the backside he needs. I know it certainly has been for us in matches where players have dominated us. Let's see how long he goes on for. And luckily, that's not my dog barking outside now. I've actually brought her in. It's all dogs on the field behind us. Goodness knows why. But it's New Year's Day, so I'm not going to mow. Bit of New Year's Day snooker. Gotta love it, eh? Eight. I think this is the most points he's got in a frame. In fact, I think it probably beats his total in the two frames, to be honest. Aiming for the left corner here. Going for the bulk colours there. I think that's a good risk to take. That's a good shot. I mean, he's a top 16 player. He's in the Masters. So I'm not trying to belittle him at all. But I think it's definitely a fair comment that up until this little break he's having here, he's uh, he's not played well at all. But that blue ultimately the position we didn't get ourselves into. That was, uh, that was the problem. 19. Steadily going at this. That's a poor shot. But uh, yeah, that is a little bit weak. Hmm. It's just a safety then. Don't know where that's ended up. Not too badly, it has to be said. That's a pretty good shot. Now we're just going to play this nice and soft. It is a risky one, I would say. Hmm. Let's try and get it up the other end of the table towards the green. Don't hit it on the way back. Oh, we got away with that. My goodness, we got away with that. It was inches from hitting the red, and that could have been catastrophic. I was in the mix of saying catastrophe and catastrophic. But uh, we got away with that. It was a good shot in the end. You do need your slice of luck, which I've talked about multiple times. Nothing going, though, here. So uh, just a simple safety once again, really. That'll do. At least I think it will. Tricky angle on any of these if he wants to have a go. Where's the cue ball going? Ooh, nice. This, uh, I wouldn't say too much of a risky shot. And it's there. Our good potting for the day continues, and it'd be even sweeter if we could get on this corner cushion near to the blue. It's pretty good. But uh, I'm going to play the pink. Seems a sensible shot here. Well, it goes. Half a chance here. Just move the reds a little bit. Is there anything going? Yes, that one uh, nearest the cushion will go. And that is a pretty decent split. You can't argue with that too much. Can we get through for the pink? Not quite, so it's going to have to be a yellow here. Again, not the worst ball to play for. Just try and tap it off the brown. Slow the ball down a bit. Mm, not what we wanted at all. No, not at all, I agree. <laughs> Gotta have a go though, ain't you? You've got to have a go sometimes. And again, I don't think this will be too much of a risky shot. Just leaves the one that's there. 
I'm just tempted by this red. A little bit harder than we wanted. But it's there. Our potting game has been really good today. Be Apart from that blue we missed, but... As you saw, it didn't leave to any... Uh, lead to anything um, negative. But we'd have been a decent safety shot as well if... Uh, we hadn't got the pot. But I think it might just be time for safety now. Try and get it behind this green. These can get really wrong. But... Uh, that doesn't look too bad to me. Excellent shot. Definitely the tightest frame so far. What's he going to do from here? Does touch a red. It's not the worst escape ever. He could. Uh, it's a lot better than what I would have done. But equally, it was the best thing to do because it does leave us a better opportunity to have a go at this. Take the reins in this third frame. Although it's going to be a little bit awkward because we haven't played the best shot there. This is an easy. This relies on it coming off the cushion and coming back, really. No issues there. He's right on top of his game at the moment. And there we go. That uh, is not a bad chance just there. Just got to keep it composed for a few more shots, and uh, we're well on our way. He just wants to slot this into the middle pocket. Is that going to give us any luck? That red could do him moving a little bit more. Hmm. Let's make it a little bit fiddly. It was worth having a little bit of a go at that. And equally, I think it's worth having a bit of a stab at this red. Well, it goes. Half a chance here. Looks fairly good. Oh, not going to get the no, not going to get the luck on this time. this time. Close, but a miss nonetheless. Hmm. Does open it back up again for Mr. Maguire, and that is a good pot. One. I think he'll get one back here. We're giving him just one too many opportunities, I would argue. Eight. Yeah, he's looking to drop this into the middle pocket. Nine. Not all over yet, though, though. No, Not over the, 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 all over the yet, though, 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 though. Okay, fair enough. Pink, no, very nice pink there. But that red, hmm, lacking. But has he got the snooker? Yes, he has. Only just though. That's what he was going for, and he's played it well. Stephen Maguire, 15. He wants to keep this cue ball safe, but no guarantees. Oh, that was a kick in the nuts. Didn't expect to hit that blue on the way back. It is a tight cut though. If he wants That's to go for the pot here on the red, and a great result. could be a win or lose shot in this match. But he's just a bit... He, he tapped absolutely everything that he possibly could. But where's that red going? Ooh. Unlucky for Maguire. Unlucky. What he intended at all. That's a shame. That's a poor shot. He's aiming to and I think... The right corner. If we play how we should here, that should be curtains for Maguire in this match. Great One. Let's make sure it is. So we'll go for the blue. Lines up best for the, bl for the yellow, I think you'd agree. So let's put nine ahead with 27 remaining. Six. It's just simply a case now of counting down the balls and making sure we play these as well as we can. And uh, getting the pots on the board. Brown might be a bit awkward though from here. But in fact it just plays into it quite nicely. I think we need the blue. Not cal I'm only roughly calculating that. What's the lead? 11. It is 14's the lead. So uh, if we pot this brown, he has to go and pot uh, the other three to make it uh, a respot on the black. 15. Not the best on the on the blue really there. But we'll Just give it a go. Now. That looks pretty good to me. The blue's there. And that should finish things off, but let's just make sure we pop the, the last two balls just to confirm it. Or at least the pink. Don't need the black. Pink's there, though. And I think... I'm not really bothered about the position of the black. Although, equally, the cue ball's not ended up too badly there. Can't argue with that. But just give it a good whack. See what happens. Any luck with coming off cushions? No, not today. But oh well, uh, that is it. What a great start to the Masters. We have beaten Stephen Maguire once again. Three frames to nil. To be honest, that is uh, one of the best matches we've played 
for a while, but uh, not really much of an opponent to Steve Maguire today, it has to be said. A little bit of a weak display from him. But we are through to the last eight of the Daffabet Mass, and, and the stats really there just show the golfing class today. Not necessarily of all time, of course, Stephen Maguire is a top 16 player, but on this occasion, Stephen Maguire was just not in the game whatsoever. And let's see who we're going to face in the best of seven in the quarterfinal. And it is Mark Allen. Well, a repeat at the final. Pardon me. From last year, we play against the Northern Irishman. Dear me, I'm belching again. But uh, that will be on the channel on Saturday. And it should be a thrilling game for a prize of £50,000. And, of course, the bigger prize to get into the last four of the Daft Bet Masters. If you haven't left a like yet and have got to this point, surely you like the video if you've got to this point. Uh, comment also your thoughts on the video and subscribe for regular snook content. As I've said, this should be out on Saturday, but no promises because I am back to work tomorrow. But hopefully I should be able to get this recorded before Saturday. This is a big opportunity. Go and beat Mark Allen. Go and avenge what happened last year in the final. And uh, we could be looking at big things in the Daffodet Masters once again. But if you've enjoyed that, leave a like down below, comment your thoughts, and subscribe for regular Snoop content. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys on Saturday. Goodbye for now, and a very happy new year. Let's hope it's a good one.